everybody and welcome back to 1.16 Minecraft and today I have a few things that I want to try and get done uh, one of them is the farmhouse over here I want to work on building the large farmhouse and I also want to work on building some beehives so right over here I have this one hive and I want to try and get uh, some honeycomb from it I've already collected up a little bit uh, from uh, when I was working on building the floors because I finished putting all the floors and all these houses So I went and grabbed some honeycomb before so I have six now so I can make two uh, Brand new beehives because I want to try and keep these bees around here because they're gonna be really helpful For kind of like pollinating all of the crops that we're gonna have so I was thinking about putting the beehives like in the middle area right here and then I also might set them up to be automated so it automatically harvests like the honey. And I might also do some honeycomb ones. Uh, so later on today, I'm going to try and move these guys. Don't know how that's going to go. Uh, th but the other thing I wanted to do is I also wanted to get these houses set up for villagers to live in them. Because I finished the floors. As you can see, there's birchwood in there. So I want to get those working so that I can get the villagers to start the move in. Uh, but the first thing I need to do is head to bed because apparently it's nighttime. Okay, it is now morning. So let's go inside here and start working on building this. So last episode, I got the walls completed. And I also started on building this floor here. So today, I want to finish this floor, finish that uh, ceiling up there, and then start putting in some rooms. I also might move this like one block that way. I think it should be fine. I'll look at it in a second uh, after I get this done to see if I need to move it. But I think it should be fine for now. Uh, so let me go ahead and get some torches because I'm going to need that. Because I don't think I'm going to put lanterns in here because there's not really a lot of room for that. So I'm just going to use torches. But I do want to put uh, some glass in because I do have my glass right here. So I'm going to put a window like right here. So I'm going to do a two block window right here. That will let in a little bit of light. I do want to get rid of all of this dirt. I don't know if I have enough birchwood left. Yeah, I only have 22. So I might have to get some more of that. Because I'm going to use birchwood for this floor. The same as all the other houses. There we go. That's as much as I can get done with the wood that I have. So I'm going to have to get some more of that. But at least I've got that cleared out. Uh, the other thing is I do need to put in stairs. Which I don't have any extra ones. Okay, so I went ahead and made eight. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need, but I'm going to use them later for the roof anyway. So I'm going to do like a corner stair. So I'm going to start it right here, and then I'm going to put oak planks here, and then build uh, the rest of the stairs going up like this. And that will allow us to get to the second floor here. So there's that. Now I need to fill in all of this, which I don't know if I have enough wood for that either. So I might have to get some more oak wood and some more birch wood. Alright, so I ran out of wood, so I gotta go collect up some more. Uh, so this is what the stairs are gonna look like. I'm pretty sure the villagers can find their way up there. Uh, let me make sure you can get up. Yeah, you can make it up there. There's plenty of room. Let me get rid of this torch and move it to like right there. Should be fine. So that's going to be the torches. I might as well put in the rest of the windows. So I'm going to put... Actually, I'm not going to put any on that side because there's nothing over there. So I'm going to put a three block window right here. So there's a window there. And then over here, uh, three blocks in between here. Let's do one right here. So I'm going to do a two block window there. And then these blocks right here, I'm going to put uh, some logs like next to the window kind of like uh some of the other uh like villager houses i don't know if there's any in this village yeah like over here kind of like this i'm gonna put some logs by the windows like that all right so i got all the wood uh, is there only one bee left there might only be one left uh, i don't know what happened to the other ones but let me go ahead and collect up this honeycomb real quick there we go I've got nine of them. So you need three for uh, like each hive. So, so far I have enough for three hives. So that will be a good amount. I'm thinking about putting two in between each house. So how many am I going to need? I'm going to need two, 
four, six, eight. Okay, so I'm going to need eight. So hopefully I can get that by the end of the episode. That is not supposed to be glass. I put that in the wrong spot. I need this to uh, be the logs. Also, my axe broke. So I don't have an axe anymore uh, to break the wood. I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of those because I have to do them on uh, this one as well. I don't think this will look that bad. It should be fine. Uh, let's see. How does it look? Yeah, I think that looks fine. I kind of want to put the door now in the middle over there. But that will make the whole thing uh, off. So I might move the door over one block this way. That way, there's one block in between uh, the door and this log. Uh, so let me go ahead and get the planks here. Put those back. And I also need to grab the birch wood. All right, so let's see if this is enough birch wood. I might have to get even more. I don't know if this will be enough to fill in this entire, entire section. It might be. Oh, I'm too short. Really? Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that uh, right now. I'll have to do that later. But I can at least finish this top area here. And then I can start putting in some more windows. And start figuring out where all the rooms are going to be. Alright, so I've got my axe now. So, I can easily break all the wood. So, I'm going to put a three block window right here. And then I want to try and get the windows in the exact same spot. So, there's a window right here. And then there should be one here. Yeah, these two blocks right here. So that way the windows are in the exact same spot. And I'm going to put... Oh, did I get rid of the logs? Uh, I got rid of the logs. I was going to put the logs back. Uh, I guess it's fine without them. I'll eventually get some. Now, what's the view over here? Oh, you can see over the wall. Okay, so let's go ahead and put uh, windows on this side as well. And that way you can kind of see over the wall here at the uh, the forest uh, is this in the right spot i think i'm one block off yeah i'm one block off there we go uh so now i could put all the glass in i might put one on this side yeah that i can do one on this side so there we go we're gonna do another window over here and now that it's nighttime this is a good test to see how dark it is at night all right, so that's going to be the torch placement. That should give enough light in the entire house uh, for at least the upstairs area. Now I need to do the downstairs. There we go. That should be enough light in this house. So now that I've got the torches set up, I need to build the walls. So I'm going to do a wall right here. So I'm going to go and get my wood and put in a wall. This will be uh, one of the like bedrooms. I can actually like split this up into like a double bed so I could put like one bed in this corner and then one bed in that corner. I think that should be good because I want to try and have like four or five villagers that live in this house. Uh, so that's going to be one room over here is going to be like the main area and then upstairs we're going to have some more room. So I'm going to split this down the middle again. So then over here. I could actually, no, I can't put a wall there because the window. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did downstairs where I split this room, put beds there and beds there. And then over here, I'm thinking about putting maybe a wall here and making this a room. So I could do something like that. That doesn't really look the best, but I can at least put a wall here. Then maybe put a door there so there's a, a room right here i don't really know how i could make this any better i guess i could put bookshelves i could make this like a, a bookshelf area this block i don't think needs to be here this one does yeah that one needs to stay so i could maybe put some bookshelves in here and make that like a shelf and then over here i could put a bed so that's how i'm going to set this up so that is all of the walls and rooms set up. Now I just have to get the beds. So that's what I'm going to do in the morning. Uh, so let me go ahead and head back to the castle. Head the bed in the morning. I'll uh, get some more wood to finish the floor. And then we'll set up all the beds. Okay, so I just woke up. I want to quickly check to see if I have any like birch wood in any of my storage chests. Because if I have some, 
Oh yeah, this was some right here. Perfect. Now I don't have to grab any. Alright, so let's go, uh, let's go upstairs and finish off this house. And then I can start working on building, uh, an area for the bees. So let's go over here. Apparently one of the farmer, uh, has moved over here. Let's go and put the birch door. That's not a birch door. That's, a, an oak door. I might as well put another oak door here. And then do the birch wood there. So that is done. Now I need two more doors. Yeah, I need two more doors. So let me go make those real quick. I also need to make some beds. So let's go and make a door. And I need to make a bunch of beds. So how many beds do I need? I know I need at least six. So let me just go ahead and make a bunch of brown beds. Because that's the only wool that I really have access to right now. So they're all going to get brown beds. Look at all the beds. Uh, but there's one bed for this house. Uh, this house is going to get a bed over here. I also want to make sure I get my torches and all of the houses here. Alright, so these are the last uh, beds that I've got. So I need one in this house. And then, is there torches in here? There's not torches. So I need to make uh, some torches. I don't have any coal on me. So I might have to steal these torches real quick. Uh, for uh, this house. So there's that. That house has torches. This house does not have torches. So I need to get some more torches. Uh, but I have two beds left uh, to put in here. So I'm going to have to make, I think, two more. Or actually, three more. Because there's three bedrooms upstairs. But there's uh, that bedroom set up. And then I need to make three more beds. Now, I'm hoping the villagers can actually navigate this to find, like, all these beds. But there is that set up. I do need to put the doors down. So, there's one door, two door. I don't think I'm going to put a door on there. But that is th the bedroom set up. So, I now have space for some more villagers. This can get removed. So, I don't need that anymore. The one thing is I do need to get some more torches. So, I might as well take them from here. Since I'm going to be moving these around. And now I can work on moving the beehive. So I don't know if I can actually break this without the bees getting mad. So I'm going to try and attempt that here in a second. This could go horribly wrong. Hey, right, so all the houses now have torches. So let me go and close all the doors here. And let's, uh, let's go uh, feed the villagers real quick. Uh, so that we can have them to start breeding again. So let's see. Uh, there's a villager in here. Here's three bread. There's uh, there's your breakfast. Or is it lunch? Yeah, it's probably about lunch time now. Alright, here's, uh, here's your lunch. Bread delivery. There we go. There's some bread. And then there should be a villager in here. Yeah, here he is. Here's, uh, here's your lunch. There we go. I need some more wheat. So let me take some... From here real quick and that way I can get uh, one more set of villagers going all right so all the villagers have been fed so let's go back over here and mess with the beehive uh, let me make the beehives first uh, so let me go find a crafting table in uh, one of these houses and I also need to like get some wheat in the farms I'm not sure if the farmers will actually Put their own seeds down. I'm not sure if that'll work. Uh, but I can make three beehives. I need to get some more wood. So I can make a fourth one. But I was thinking about putting them. Either on this block. Or one block back. Because I need to set these up to. Like be automated. So I think to make this easier. I'm going to put them back here. Because the, the way this is going to work. Is I have to put a dispenser behind here. And I either need to put bottles or I put shears in there. And then it's going to pop out the items on this block. So I'm going to put glass right here uh, to keep the items from flying. And then I can put some hoppers below here and kind of like pick up the items. But I'm going to work on setting that up later. Uh, I'll do that next episode. Uh, but let me go get some more wood so I can make one more beehive. Okay, so I've got the windows set up. I've got eight extra wood, so that is enough to make one more beehive. And now, let's put that down over here. Now, these don't really come with bees, so I have to bring my own bees over here. 
uh, from the other area. So I'm gonna go and put my glass down there. I don't know, should I do like a, the whole thing blocked up or should I leave an opening? Cause I kind of want the bees to fly out. I also want to move these flowers over there. So all the flowers are gonna be on this side over by uh, the farms. So as soon as they grab the pollen from these flowers, they're hopefully gonna fly over the farm and kind of like pollinate uh, the crops. That's what I'm hoping uh, will happen. All right, so now it's time for me to break the hive. I kind of have to wait for the bee to come out. I don't know if there's any good way to do this without angering the bees, but I'm hoping if it's smoked and the bees are out, maybe he won't get angry. Oh, I can actually get some more honeycomb. Perfect. Now I uh, just fly over here. Just, just go here. Let's get him far away. I wonder, can I just get him to claim one of the other hives? If I get him to come over here, because they do follow you if you give them flowers. Oh, wait, there's another bee. Quick. Wait, I need to breed these guys. Here, come over here. All right, this is perfect. Uh, so let me see if I can try and... Actually, I'm not going to breed them. I'm going to break the hive first and then breed them because hopefully that will make them happy. There we go. I broke the hive. Okay, where did the bees go? Where did the... Really? Okay, there's one. You're not angry, right? Okay, I think he's calm. Where did the other bee go? Oh wait, never mind. I found it. All right, let's let's grab uh, both the bees here. Here's one flower. There's two flowers. Now hopefully we can get a baby bee. There we go. Perfect. Now you guys have to go claim a hive over there. There's plenty of them. It looks like they're heading there. Look at that. They actually made their way to the hive. Perfect. So now I can get rid of this because uh, this isn't really needed anymore. All right, so now that I've got the bees all set up, I'm going to go to bed real quick. And then in the morning, I want to go check on the villagers, see if we have any baby ones. Okay, it is now morning. All the villagers are outside or... Mo Why do I hear zombies? No. Why do I hear zombies? I think they're outside the wall, which is good. Also, the bees are flying around over there, which is good. Uh, eventually, I'll get that set up so it's automated, but I'll do that next episode. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave the villagers for now. It doesn't look like there's any baby ones yet, but there should be soon. As soon as they figure out that they can use these houses. Those bees are going, like, really far. You know there's flowers right here. You don't have to fly all the way over there. Hey, right, I don't know what they're doing, but hopefully they don't get lost because I kind of need them around here. Uh, so I'm going to go and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.